What is a protractor? A protractor is a handy tool used to measure and draw angles. There are different types, but the most popular ones are the semicircle and circular protractors. They often have two sets of numbers going into opposite directions, 0 to 180 degrees and 180 degrees to 0 degrees. What is a protractor used for? Protractors are particularly useful when learning about the properties of shapes. For example, in math class, you'll not only learn about different angles, but you'll also be required to learn how to measure and draw angles. For example, a right angle is 90 degrees. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. A straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. A reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. Quick quiz! What kind of angle is this? This is a straight angle. What kind of angle is this? This is an obtuse angle. What kind of angle is this? This is a right angle. What kind of angle is this? This is a reflex angle. What kind of angle is this? This is an acute angle. How do you measure using a protractor? Although it may seem tricky to understand at first, we promise protractors are not difficult to use. First, put the cross or circle at the vertex of the angle that you are measuring. Next, line up one of the sides that forms the angle with the zero on the outer edge of the protractor. Then, read around the outer scale of the protractor, from the zero to where the other side meets the edge of the protractor. Last, count the degree lines carefully to get an accurate measurement. practice problems. Use a protractor to draw each of these angles. If you don't have a protractor at home, give this printable protractor a try. 45 degrees. Ninety degrees. One hundred eighty degrees. 65 degrees. 140 degrees. 5 degrees. 350 degrees. 22 degrees. 53 degrees. 
how did you do? Helpful tips. Sometimes you might come across angles which lay in an anti-clockwise direction. This is when you need to use the inner scale of the protractor. If you're already familiar with angles, use what you already know about angles to estimate the size of the angle that you are measuring. Ask yourself, is it bigger than a right angle or smaller than a right angle? Then check your measurement.